going to talk about the cut and the positions, what's happening uh, with the bedding and what is the safe uh, recommendations for baby. I'm going to be um, sweet and short. Okay, what the safe sleep um, recommends is always um, the baby on their um, six months mainly or before the baby start um, turning by, by himself is to sleep um, with the back um, uh, facing with the back on the mat on the mattress sorry and facing up why this is the the best and safe um, position sometimes mothers rave about how good the babies sleep on their tummies what is about uh, the the sleeping on the tummies they ask other mothers if it's okay to leave the baby like that trying to find uh, the right answer about this position and I'm going to be um, very honest it is not safe it's not recommended why because the babies are not strong enough to um, to push themselves up if they get into a bad position depends purely on the baby it's not recommended because if they have a regurgitation of the milk it can um, go through the um, um, respiratory passages and, and um, occasionally that the baby uh, suffocates so the safest is always uh, facing up uh, however um, why the, some babies sleep so good in, on their tummies why because there is a compression on the tummy there is they feel warm they feel safe they can go into the child position if you remember people that do yoga remember the child position is always like that like facing down um, because a semi, uh, obviously they can get dark and it's a very comfortable position however it's not safe it's not recommended if your child enjoys sleeping this way and is um, very young I recommend full full supervision of it um, if you decide to go for it okay but it's not safe it's not recommended what happens when the baby start turning in the cot um, and moms get very stressed because every time they go and check baby, baby is already on their tummy and then they said, what can I do? Every time I go and check, I cannot sleep properly because my baby is sleeping on the tummy by itself. Um, but I can, find, I can hear baby is screaming or is a little bit anxious because he cannot go back to the position. Okay, this is a stage. This is the stage when your baby is to start developing and what you need to do is go and help put baby on their back um, try to no do much interaction with the baby just help to put it in the back uh, um, again in safe position and go away that this is a process that you need to go through it until your baby learns how to turn back again when baby has a full um, movement he's turning um, in their belly in their back and sometimes you go back and then you check you always can um, put him in the safe position however if baby is um, uh, constantly moving and getting that position that means your baby is strong enough to find the proper position to get away of any object that is suffoc uh, suffocating or, or blocking their nose to breathe properly your baby is pretty much looking for the best position to sleep in their cot that is good that is safe um, it's nothing you can do about it it will keep happening so just um, make make sure you you do your checking make sure you don't have anything else in the cot that can um, uh, be dangerous for the baby and this is uh, um, it okay cots you know the cots in Australia are very safe so I won't go too much into detail of that you remember um, we need to have a small spaces between every um, balustrade of the cot so the, the head of the baby doesn't go through it and doesn't get stuck um, it's common uh, that babies put their legs out their arms out make sure um, it's safe uh, I have babies that are a little bit chubby like mine and he a few times got stuck the knee in there obviously you need to guide the baby uh, when this happened he was about one year old and we said don't put your leg there we explained what can happen he obviously experimented the, the desperation of getting the leg out and he never did it again it can happen um, again it's no much you can do 
uh, about the, the movements your child is having in the court, it's better to let them experiment and get to know the space, get to um, get very familiar with where they are sleeping, get um, comfortable and let them recognize that space. Bedding, as you know, bedding is, uh, keep it to a minimum. Um, in summer, uh, a lot of mothers use the bags. They are good because if the baby kid kicks the blankets, they are still warm. Uh, not so much um, in summer. We recommend not to put anything in the head so they can liberate a heat. Remember, the feet need, need to be close to the bottom part of where um, well, where the feet of your baby are, the the feet small, the feet of the baby must be touching um, the that side of the cot, so you have a space in in the in the from the head to the the back of the cot. That is a recommendation. Always talking baby, like very secure with um, the blankets and every every piece of bedding talking underneath. Um, minimum, no fluffy, no. Um, no thick, uh, the, the better, um, when you have um, twins sleeping in a, in a cot, um, is it safe, is it not safe? It depends what you want, what do you want your twins get used to? You need to make sure, depending on the size of your twins, what is better for them, you need to um, assess the situation. Is it safe for both, they are about the same size, they don't pull um, blankets to each other. Sometimes the uh, parents divide the, the the cot of the twins and they sleep them um, sideways because they are small. Um, that that can happen, but make sure that division is not something that you put on inside the cot like a pillow. Make sure it's under the bedding as well. So if if it's there, there is no room for the baby to get stuck underneath or put the head in between um, the pillow and that. And so there is no chance for that. Bumpers. Let's talk about. Um, the cot bumpers, no recommended, no safe. However, in colder weather, helps to keep the, the cot warm, uh, protects the head, the soft head of the babies from um, heating. However, I guess when a child feels how hard the, the cot is, they, they are a little bit um, hesitant to keep doing it. Uh, we always worry that he will hurt himself and stuff uh, himself or something like that. So. Um, you can use them under your own risk. Uh, of course, if your baby is healthy, say, uh, big, and safe, there is no mo no no much to worry about it. Okay. Um, however, safe sleep does not recommend it. Another thing: make sure um, your baby always loves the cot, loves the environment. Don't have many toys. Don't use the cot as a storage when your baby is sleeping. The 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 cot is recommended fully clear, um, no, nothing else but what the baby needs. Pillows, yesterday I gave this talk in Spanish and mothers asked me, how is the pillow of the baby needs to be? Well, pillows are not recommended, that, that's it. Um, babies don't need pillows. But what happened with the babies that have reflux? Um, they recommend that uh, the baby is a little bit inclinated and what can we do? Well, a very good trick that someone told me is always um, Put something under the mattress so the mattress is um, inclinated. Doesn't need to be fully leather like because obviously the baby is going to slide. It has to be slightly, depending on the level of reflux. It can help um, every every time. Other um, they also sell mattresses already that have the triangle shape and they're really good for babies. Um, but you can improvise and leave the full mattress up. Okay. Um, no pillows are recommended. If you like it, and for decoration, let's say it comes with a nice bedding and stuff, put the, the pillow there, leave the pillow there, and um, you will you can remove it when the baby is going to sleep. Okay, uh, make sure your babies love their space. As I said before, um, they they like to spend time there. Then they feel safe. It's a space um, when they are growing up that they can feel safe. Um, they can, well, if they decide, they can refuge there, they enjoy it, there is the full pertinence, like, it's like if someone say, oh, if yeah, this is your code, can I go in it, and they have a full say about it, that is very, very good for babies to, to have. And now, um, I want to mention this, about this, when you have older ch children, and you are ready to transition, and then you see 
this is no no much fashion here in Australia, but in other countries, in Mexico, for example, they are um, the Montessori kind beds. You know, the the typical uh, floor level um, beds that are on the ground. Then the, the moms are now buying and purchasing for the children when they are really young. They are not recommended at all. If your children is not sleeping well in their cot, this is not going to solve the problem. Yeah, maybe your room will look nicer and maybe you think uh, this is going to solve your sleep issues because your mom, your daughter, let's say, will, is going to fall in love with this little new bed. Uh, believe me, you need to um, go and look into the, the root of the problems. First, fix the sleep, make your child sleep anywhere um, or let, let's say in their cot or next to you very well all night. Then he is going to do the same in their cot, in their new bed. However, it's always a period of adaptation, a transition that needs to happen to any new space that we're going to sleep. So be aware of that. It, it is important. and. Um, make sure your um, your child is ready for the, that transition what age is the best three years old is the recommended no okay well for now for today is all i have for you i hope you enjoy it um again i invite you to my seminar in january i hope you pass the voice if you know people with new babies and they maybe like to learn about um the sleep which is very important and very surprised a big surprise, sorry, when, when it starts happening or not happening, um, I invite you, okay? Thank you so much for listening, and Liliana Maro in Learning to Sleep. Bye.